welcome back to this um, exciting edition of Cinema Corner. Today we are talking to a thespian, um, a theater scholar, a festival director. Uh -huh. So now, um, <coughs> all this time, are you getting support from the theater industry, like um, theater Zero. groups? Zero um, support. I've told you I've, I've talked to people whom I had expected to come and perform, but they didn't come because there was no money. Where? So it was like a festival, an Ethiopian festival in Kenya, because these guys performed two days, the two days, and then the festival ended. So the other days we took them to KU, they met the dean, you know, they met the chairman, we had discussions, we had a brainstorming. You know, we looked for activities to keep them busy. And then we had Ogutu, Ogutu performed on the opening. Mm. And he was just like at the theater. And then they were with Ngobia, good friends. And he tells Ogutu, Kitfest is starting. Do you want to perform? He said, why not? So he performed. So at least got a Kenyan and an international act because that time Ugutu was based in Netherlands. So that is how, you know, things just connect. So Ugutu was doing, um, wa wanted to do a piece about Kenenisa, mm -hmm. the Kele, mm -hmm. uh, running, he was doing also Kipchoge from Kenya. So he got an opportunity, he said, organize for me, I meet these people, we talk about the Kele so that they give me more. So you see, we, we found activities to do oh. and to keep them busy. You get so that is how we survived the first edition. Eh, hey, Ogutu Muraya, <laughs> big yes. up to you. Big up. He's still Ogutu. a good fan of the festival. Yes. He has trained for the festival. Amazing guy. And he did a very good musical. Yes. Yeah. Simba yes. Bazenga. Simba Bazenga. Yes. Mm. It will be performed in this year's edition of the festival. Ah. Yes. That's great. I think we'll mm. do his interview um, mm. during mm. that festival. Ogutu, karibu sana kwa ikiti. Mm. Yeah. So now. How now that was the first edition? Yes. How was uh, the second edition going to the third? Now I think I started knocking doors. I'm I'm good at that. I'm good at going to people, talking to people. I I always say the worst I can be told is a no. That is the worst, <laughs> you know. Nothing else. You can't beat me because of coming to ask you to support <laughs> me. <laughs> the worst thing you can tell me, is I have no fans to support you. Mm. So I knock those. So the second edition, we talk with Prof. Uh, Dr. Mugubi from KU. That is, in that year, we signed an, ag um, an agreement with KU to become the knowledge partner of the festival. So that year, KU gave us money uh, to pay the National Theatre, to pay for the venue, mm. for the space. And then we talked with UNESCO. UNESCO, we started conference that year, so UNESCO came in with a conference. So we did the conference, we did the festival. We had two teams. We had a team from Uganda, and we had a team from South Africa. So the festival was nice. Uh, we had performances from KU. Uh, Dr. Shkuku came in with, with a play. We had also another play. The successor. The successor. Mm. We had a play by Dambelo who was mm. also a lecturer. That was uh, Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again yes. by and then, Kimi. And mm. then we had Ngobi again with Nakuru Players Theatre. They performed uh, um, the something, the goat, the uh, goat. Sylvia. Sylvia, the, the goat head or something. <laughs> and they came with a head, uh, Kicho Yambuzi, mm. kwa stage. <laughs> yes, it was a very dirty play, but it was a nice play. <laughs> it was a nice play. Mm. So that year was somehow stable. Mm. But then 2018, and that time I think it was held uh, in uh, Lyon. Uh, yeah. Yes. Then 2018, uh, things changed. Again, now this festival has come. No sponsors. Actually, zero sponsors. I'm holding a festival. I've I've been ambitious. I've said I'll hold the festival for six days. So two day, two day conference. And, and now six day festival. Uh, you are in charge of the conference then. Um, so we, we organized this again, no funding. Kutafuta Pesa Hapa Pale went very well, successful. We hosted, now it went big. We hosted Ethiopia, we hosted Egypt. Again, South Africa came. I think um, there were Americans. There were Americans. I think Keith Pearson Keith came. Keith Pearson with, came with, with, with the, theater, um, the theater company. Yes, with the theater company. It was a huge festival. Mm. It, it had now started taking pace. 
the industry is now starting to to appreciate the festival although most of these well-known companies still don't want to come and support it's a challenge by the way i, I would confess is a challenge uh, because most people i don't know whether most people feel that they're coming to support me as an individual rather than not taking part in the festival that has been the biggest challenge i've faced over the years um then i, I accommodated people it was a it was an actual headache i accommodated people in a hotel at zimmerman called greenville so this is 2018 i have close to 40 people um and then on this saturday i'm told because i've not paid i'm told your guests won't have lunch well na guests <laughs> umetoka everywhere i think you even had guys from sweden yes i had a team from sweden hawatakula lunch i have close to 45 people in a hotel Men I went I called anyone I could call for money zero zero this is friday now it means a headache friday because i know festival is ending on sunday na ikifika monday watu watakatazwa ku check out na walishalipa flights zao i went round i called anyone i could call i called family everyone almost everyone turned me down i remember python has j- had just lost his mom when the festival is starting so i don't want to, to bother him so i i went met somebody called somebody told me there are two rivers i went family talk to them i told them my situation they told me they don't have money they they've just bought a prado um <laughs> <laughs> the insurance is 150k and mm-hmm. they're just about to pay it i'm sure they told you how much the prado cost yes guy so you see <laughs> ukitoka to rivers mm-hmm. kuna petrol station iko hapo blue sky yes mm-hmm. i went parked there nililia kama mtoto ile unalia machozi <laughs> nasikia mpaka una shake yani nika relieve hiyo kitu python sent me 10k I don't know where I had 6k so I had 16k. So I cried I cried for like 15 minutes. Na hii ni theater unalilia. Eh? Wewe watu wako huko wanapiga sherehe wana perform nini 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 lakini wewe hapo uko struggle. Hajui hajui uko kwa kawa hesabu wewe unalia. So I composed myself. I said I'll go to this hotel. I tell them I don't have money. But I have 10k. I, have, I told them I'll give them I have 16k. So I'll give you this 16k. This is all I have. My guest will stay. And that's it. And mtawapea chakula throughout makaishi. I drove to the hotel. Nikafika hoteli kitu ikaniambia usipeane 16,000. Usipeane 10,000. Sasa wewe ni jetani na konga chama ni nani? Wacha tuseme ni Mungu. Nikapeana 10k. Mm. So nikaongea na the manager, manager akakubali. Nini? Nini? You see why I'm doing all this? I've just gotten a job mm-hmm. at Nimpa. By a, an institution owned by PCA Church. Mm-hmm. The owner of this hotel is a good friend of the people who have just employed me. Mm-hmm. So siezi taka kuchoma. I talk to the manager. I don't talk to the guy, to the owner talk to the manager i told her this is what i have this guest will come i've applied for a loan and by monday the loan will be out and i'll pay the dip the difference so you will allow people to stay and leave on monday and we had an agreement and she accepted simbaki na 6000 nimesema now i'm going to enjoy the festival i'm going to watch their two plays from south africa I'm going to sit and enjoy the festival. At, at least you have 6000 in the pocket. Yes, uh, kitu yote ikitokea na ezaso so, mm. na eza sort. Kikuja kuingia National Theater. Ile ya nyuma. Mm. Ikiingia tu pale nyuma, napigiwa simu kevu uko wapi? Msewa South Africa ameanguka kwa stage, amevunjika mkono. 
Nambia ndiyo hata naingia. So naingia tu hivi na paka na letwa kwa gari. Nenda guru nanak. Ile 6,000. Yote. Yote. We. So ndiyo maa nilisema ni mungu. Because now I couldn't have had money to, 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 to procure that. So after that, tukakuja, so the guy didn't perform, but their performance was amazing. The other guy performed alone. We had, it was a good night. Nini, tukakuja, tuka enjoy. That, that has been the struggle. I think, I think these were the guys from Joburg. Yes, Joburg City Theatres. Mm-hmm. Mm, amazing guys. So Moja Wound only performed solo. He did, I think, one guy did, I think, over 16 characters. And I think that was, um, not. I think, ha- Hamilton Dlamini. Yes. A very yes. big actor in South yes. Africa. Yes, And he's the person we featured on our 2019 poster. Mm-hmm. If you have seen the guy with the hand for 2019. Yes. We pass greetings to you, Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ham, how did this, again, how did it solve itself? Were you finally able to pay for the hotel and all this? No, things? I paid. I paid. I got loans, but I paid, <laughs> see, I had told them Monday, mm. I paid the other Monday. So it was, it was, it's a whole new story, how I maneuvered, how people have, don't give you money, how my mom came through, we went to my mom's friend, they, they sorted me out. Mm. I was able to sort, sort things. So it has, it has been like that, because theater festival is very expensive, because you have to accommodate people, you have to give them food. It's not like film where people send DVDs. No, this one, the actual people come. And you see, worldwide, the way theater festival do is that people traveling, they pay for their air ticket, and you cater for them when they come in. Transport, accommodation, Trans- food. Yes. When they come here, they your property until they leave. One would wonder, with that, with that knowledge and all those experiences, um, including uh, that session of serious crying, <laughs> somewhere in the middle of Runda, I'm wondering... Why the following year you went back to it? It's a passion. Number one, you have to be consistent. And the following year, I went into other debts. But you have to be consistent. For you to be appreciated, for you to do something that is of great importance, you have to be consistent. And there is nothing that has no challenges. Yes. So so now, <coughs> let's push it forward to this year you're holding the festival yes um are you still lo- looking forward to another 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 period of, of crying of crying <laughs> <laughs> of crying and deaths and being threatened that your guests will not eat are you uh, is, is that the same place that you're going this year or is there something that's going to be different this year of course every year is different new you get to meet new people new opportunities the scene will be a bit different um, we're hopeful uh, we've talked to a lot of people uh, people who have promises here and there we're still waiting for that but it's it's until it happens is when you're sure but if it doesn't happen we have to persevere the same way and ensure that the festival happens as we say in theater the show must go on the show must go on Res- irrespective of whatever happens mm-hmm. because the audience is seated so you have to perform so the festival has been marketed, people are flying in, the show has to go on. So now, I think we've, we, we just dove into the festival and the problems, uh, uh, you know, that the festival mm. has brought you, including a lot of tears. Um, tell us about the festival. What is KitFest? What is it about? Why, why would um, <coughs> uh, people be interested to, to partner with you uh, mm. or to partner with the festival on, on that. I, I know now someone else is running the festival. Mm. Um, but why would um, a company, say, even if I can mention names, Safaricom, KCB, whoever, Airtel, um, why would they want to partner with the festival? What is the festival about? Mm. Um, and why do people from other countries actually get interested because you mentioned South Africa, mm. you mentioned Sweden, US, America, Sweden. you mentioned... Name it, we've hosted, yes. the six, we've hosted five Egypt, continents. Um, yes. Egypt, yeah, mm. five continents. Mm. Um, they've come to Kenya to celebrate in a festival that um, seemingly Kenyans are not very interested or aware, mm. um, aware of. Tell us about KitFest. So KitFest is uh, a platform for... Is KitFest is Kenya International theatre festival, that's why we call it KitFest, is a platform to showcase Kenyan theatre and to stimulate artists and audiences by bringing international acts so that we can also benchmark, we can interact, 
you can see what others are doing and we they also see what we are doing and we spark conversations around around the theater in you know in Kenya and in the world generally so what we do is that we we make a call people apply um, who want to perform in the festival then we select based on what we feel is suitable for for Kenyan audiences for the Kenyan norms and morals again we do not want to get into trouble because we are promoting cultures that are not uh, acceptable in Kenya at the same time trying to see what others are doing in theater so that we benchmark so that we are able to to learn because theater is the same everywhere but different everywhere due to the dynamics that contribute to to the art of of theater the the, the commonalities are there the way i move on stage is the same the same movements the same stage is in Kenya is the same stage in Egypt is same stage in US but then how we move is different yet the movements are almost the same how we communicate the gestures are the same all that so we need to learn what others are doing we need to benchmark uh, people come to learn and see we try to promote forms of art that are not popular in Kenya like puppetry there's a time we hosted water puppetry something that i had never heard of uh, i learned it during the festival when people applied and they were doing puppetry kwa maji you get so the festival is a platform where people come to learn from each other people come to share knowledge people come to share experiences is an opportunity to show the world what we have as kenyans is an opportunity for kenyan artists to interact and get opportunities to go and perform outside to export theater to export kenyan theater because currently we we the main export we have in terms of sports and the arts is athletics that has propelled kenya to the, i will say the biggest stage in the world yeah? and theater has the potential to do the same um, it has the potential to employ a lot of people it has the potential to give job opportunities i actually say if if um, the president should focus on theater he would even hit the <laughs> the over 600 jobs 600,000 jobs in a year Uh, through theater alone because if if a group there was a group or three groups in every ward in Kenya uh, each group has 20 people and we have over 1000 words translate that you know yeah. so huge opportunities and each each and every company communicates there is a l- big companies have marketing budgets and there is no tool that is as effective in communication as theater you know and in in various forms call it the normal theater performed on a proscenium stage to theater for development you know it can give you a wide range of reach you know mm-hmm. ibc alone if they wanted to have actual impact theater is a thing even so, in, even uh, sensitizing yes. people on uh, registration yes mm-hmm. is theater actually public participation you know people knowing who is a senator who is a president what is the role of a governor these things can actually be well achieved through theater so theater has a lot of potential it can employ a lot of people theater is a tool for change for social change if you watch performances actually almost each and every performance tries to address an issue affecting the community and therefore if if a lot of empowerment is done through theater it has potential huge potential anywhere in the world theater is the mother of film take the likes of the highest grossing actor in in hollywood samuel l, l. jackson he started as a theater artist I, if you count the the amount of money he has been paid is the highest grossing from acting from theater yes. our own celebrated lupita started at phoenix so you see it gives you a st- very strong foundation and if people will wa- come and support the industry The festival is just a small bit but we need to empower the artists so that the festival then comes to celebrate this all these, all artists. these artists but a lot of empowerment needs to happen mm-hmm. at least steps are being taken but not enough a lot of focus needs to be done well that's that's very profound and i think um, it's important for people to actually like understand the festival mm. so when is um, this year's edition happening Um, this year edition we had planned f- a huge festival we had planned for a three three months festival but that was not possible because of covid we had planned to do it in six six counties 
as a way of celebrating six years. Last year when we were celebrating five years despite COVID, we did it in five counties. So we wanted to the same model, but we saw with the directives and the restrictions that were there, it was not possible. So we are just doing a two weeks festival from 2nd of November to 14th uh, November, uh, hosting 11 countries um, from the US, from we have US, we have UK, uh, no, no, not UK, we have India, uh, we have uh, team people from Egypt but are still in, in Germany. We have, uh, I think, six African countries, which is the hugest ah. amount of plays we've ever received from Africa. We have Cameroon, we have Senegal, we have Uganda, we have Tanzania, we have Egypt, and then we have, I think, um, have I mentioned Senegal? Yes, and um, Zimbabwe. South Africa. And Zimbabwe, yes, and South Africa as ah. well. We have, I think, seven African countries taking mm. part. Ah, um, and I, I, I think at this point we need to, to, to shout out. Mm. Uh, yes. Goitse Mang Polo. Yes. yes. <laughs> a friend of the festival. A friend of a the festival. A friend of the festival. Mm. I think there's the team that has, has participated consistently and with amazing productions. Mm -hmm. I think for four years. Jika Theatre. Yes, Jika Theatre. Mm. 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 So, um, well, I think... Um, You've told us about the festival, um, and we still still need to look at the industry at yes, large. Yes, yes. Um, now, as uh, as you've told us, the festival. Um, well, we are not talking about this year. We are hoping this year goes well. Mm. Uh, previously, it has been uh, an episode of tears sometimes, mm. Mm. Um, and, um, and challenges here and there. Uh, is that a reflection of how the whole industry um, looks like or um, how is the theater industry looking like? I will say it is 70% of how the industry looks like and why people are shy to support such initiatives is because they are not sure of what theater is. They are not sure. Um, you, people are not aware. Actually film is more, more known in Kenya than theater. Um, Yet, I think theatre is, as I said, is the backbone of film. So a lot of, I think also we as artists, as the industry, we need to do a lot of sensitization. But people need to come up vibrant. I think part of the reason why theatre went down is because of, of um, the effects of coup and the suppression that happened after that. Because Ngugi was Thiongo, yes, because mm. Ngugi was Thiongo's Kamirito theatre was very famous. Those guys could host over 3,000 people in Nimuru. People coming all the way from Muranga. Mm -hmm. And those guys were performing vernacular plays. So it shows you how big theater was then. If you Even if you go to history, it was very vibrant. Akina Falkland with, with, uh, the, with the Phoenix Theater, Akina Mulua with what they were doing. But from, from the 80s, from 82, I think things went down. I think picked again in the 90s, but somehow I don't know what happened. But mostly that was uh, community, community yes. theater yes. and HIV. And yes, stuff. yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened from 2000, shh, went down. Till today, only the likes of Heart Rings are well known, Festival of Creative Arts, which again went a bit down. You know, people now are coming up. And Fanaka. And Fanaka, yes, with, with vernacular shows. You see, people are coming up. But a lot needs to be done. A lot of government intervention needs to happen. Corporate. Yes, corporate, have, have, they have to come and support. Actually, if corporates will know the potential that theater has, they will not invest billions in advertising on TV. They'll come to theater because it will give them instant feedback mm -hmm. and good, better results, measurable results. Mm. So the, yes, the industry has a lot of potential. As I said, it can employ a lot of people. It can gross a lot of resources, but needs nurturing, needs government intervention. And to me, the biggest thing that is ailing theater is artists supporting artists. And people forming a union that is strong, people having a, a one united voice and engaging government seriously. That will be the game changer. Because mm -hmm. you see, government has to be provoked to work. You know, if you're government and you have over 100 people coming to lobby for things, if among the hundreds, because mm -hmm. you need to pay attention to these 100 people. 
who are coming to you. And therefore, that is why I feel we artists have a bigger role to play. We need to work together as a unit. We, we try. We have Theatre Arts Practitioner Society of Kenya, very young, still trying to, to come up. Um, but we have potential. We have potential. Uh, we can go for money. There is great potential. Because if you look like at music, look at Jazz, jazz Festival. And the amount of money it receives from Safaricom, you know, mm -hmm. um, it shows you potential. It shows studio. you, yes, it shows you potential. Look at Churchill with with Churchill show. It shows you that Kenyans are ready to consume, but we need to be organized. We need serious interventions from government. Um, we need voice, a strong voice, mm -hmm. and we need support from even TVs and and all that. Okay, um, I think we've covered that um, now. In the last um, segment um, of this interview, I want us to now look at um, theatre education. Mm. You went through theatre education yourself, which you confessed that was it was good for you. Um, uh, and you, there's a part you might have skipped, which I have information about, that you also headed uh, an institution um, yes. that teaches theatre, yes. and you, mm. you still teach theatre. Yes. At, uh, university level so maybe are we failing at the level of education are we doing enough at the level of education are we empowering the artist um, with enough information and skill for them to be able to approach the industry from a point of um, entrepreneurship for example um, how many artists um, um, that we are creating in schools are ready to um, sit outside a petrol station and cry and still go back to the same uh, to the same thing they were doing before that made them cry in the first place. Um, are we doing enough in theatre education? I think it's a very interesting question. Um, a question that has no... I wouldn't say yes and no. Um, but, you know, I think theatre theater education is as, as young as 2000 with Maseno, I think. I'm not sure of the year, but it is that early. You know, it's near juicy. Mm. It's, it's it just came that recently. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So, and there, there is nothing that Kianzishwa in Anza Ikiwa perfect. I'll have to, to say that, you know. Until today, with what I do, I'm never perfect. So it takes time to grow. Kama tum toto. So I think universities are also trying to find s solutions to the various challenges because there are many. Um, and also working in a in an environment where people have practiced without education and therefore they feel I don't need the education to practice you know, there is also that dilemma but but education is necessary um, in whatever form there's nothing as important as education because what education does it gives you understanding especially at the university level it gives you theoretical understanding of why some things are done and until you understand why things are done in a specific way, it's only then that you start appreciating what other people are doing. So universities are good, doing a good job. Um, there's still room for improvement. Um, as also having come from an institution that was, was also teaching theater and, and music and, and, um, and film, there's room to work with the industry. Yes, the, the industry might not be that you know, it, it might not have a lot of people from education, but they are doing something that has been appreciated by the people. Mm. So there needs to be that link. And, and what I normally try to do, especially when I'm teaching at the university level, is to link these students with the industry. So that I ensure that they don't suffer what we suffered in our days. When you, you come out of university and you're told you're half-baked or you do not know a lot of things. So you have to do a lot of work uh, so that you can fit into into the industry. So um, I think the thing is to ensure that universities have a linkage with the industry. Like if it's, for example, KU teaching theater, you should have a partnership with the Kenya Cultural Center or the Kenya National Theater so that the students are able to practice their trade here. So that Monafunzi Akitoka Shule hakuji meet na equipment the first time. You see, if that is the case, the students feel intimidated and they cannot engage in a conversation with people who are in the industry. And then what will happen, the people who are in the industry will say, how at our university, how are you? It's a game of suspicion. Yes. 
So universities need to work a lot on exposure. Exposure, exposing these students, working with the industry. Because at the end of the day, uh, as much as we may say the industry, a lot of people are not learned, these people are coming from university to join this industry. Yes. So there, there needs to be a blend na, to na need to ku to build a balance yes, between yes building a balance yes mm. between the Juakali and um, yes and uh, absolutely doing. but education is necessary i like what tivet is doing um especially in the arts because especially the element of um acknowledging uh prior learning so that if i've practiced for five years um i can be gauged and be given a certificate based on my working history so that again you do not have this war that this person cannot come to university. And therefore, if I cannot come to university, I question people who are in university. Mm. Yeah, so that if we have that blend, then everyone will appreciate each and everyone's role. But I think universities are doing a brilliant job. Mention all of them, Akina, like KU, Kabarak, you know, colleges, you know, getting to people who, at least now, we have people who have gone to university and have practiced. So when these people get these jobs, they have solutions to the to the, these challenges because those those have been the challenges and that's why you f you see now a lot of young people are in these positions mm. because they have studied and they have practiced because that i i believe that is the solution because if you have people who have practiced and have not done anything in the industry or people who have studied and have not done anything in the industry it becomes a challenge but when you you have a good blend it is it a sail through because uh, you will you will agree with me uh, what is happening right now was not there five years ago true and and you know most students today are enjoying that blend of industry more than we did yes you get and it is because of that understanding and a lot of conversations have gone through um uh, in that regard and i believe they will get get better and better every and day. better every day because because education is very critical you see and and this has been the challenge for artists we complain that there are no good, good policies for the arts. But it is because there are no good artists to sit in those policy tables. And government will never stop. If government wants to create a policy on theater today, yeah. it will. Hata kama wataleta daktari mwenye alijia yenda kuact. Watamleta. No, it, it is the truth. Yeah. You know what enda wa ulizie nani ya shai enda kuact. Mtu watatokelezea seme nilikuwa drama primo. I have an understanding. Kwa, ama niliact kama Abraham kwa playa kanisa. Yes, I have an understanding. So that guy will go to the policy table. Mm. And you see government has timelines. It has targets. It needs to achieve things. So if you are not capable of going to go to that table, who will go? It means somebody else will go who is not an artist. So artists need to go, take the challenge. As much as you know, balance that with a paper, a degree, and then you'll be able to sit on that table and you'll negotiate for better policies. It's only then that our policies will favor us. Look at successful industries. Look at South Africa. Theater education, mm -hmm. look at Egypt, look at UK and US. Nobody practices theater without going to, to college at least. Mamboya talent, UK na US ni kidogo sana. Mm. Very minimal. I will say it's like 30 out of 70. Na hata kama si shule, at least they take some training. Yes, they have training. But in Kenya, it's the other way around. It's talent. And people who have talent want to stick to talent. It is not bad. It is good. You can be talented. But it is very important to get a paper. Very, very important. Because again, you'll have, you'll have the, the, the guts to confront people. And ask questions. And ask questions. Okay. So, um, I think to conclude this, you, from uh, from this whole story, I think to Kianza and Kotumesemati, this interview last 40 minutes. <laughs> 40 minutes. Gladly it has gotten longer. This, this cause, um, the, I think you've had, um, in your 32 years, you've had like a 64-year-old journey. Uh, Absolutely, in, yes. With, uh, with uh, happy happy times and, uh, and interesting times mm, near mm, petrol station mm, mm. <laughs> so in all this journey i'm sure there are people who have had uh, a positive influence in your journey yes and positive in other kwa mtu alikuguara ama alikuvining um 
um, maybe they inspired a certain mm. thought in you, uh, inspired a certain kind of thinking in you. Maybe, um, who are these people as you conclude? They're very many. Um, if you've helped me and I won't mention you, forgive me. It's because these people are very many. Odak of Jichofo in theatre is where, where, you know, he gave me a very good foundation. He gave me an opportunity to be a stage manager at the age of 18. But before Odak, there's my mom and my parents uh, in general. But my mom has been very instrumental till today. Number one critic, number one supporter. I think time zote ni mekwama. I think I will say out of a hundred, time ni mekwama, madhea many help, 90. Ku come through ile, as in <laughs> anabea baden hajui, lakini since ni yangu, mm. lazima ipitishe. I think she's my number one fan. Ata kama leo na ukimuliza na fanyanga nini ya hezi explain. <laughs> but <laughs> so una fanyanga fanyanga vitu yeah, tu. But I may come through. Mm -hmm. I think yende ya mekua the, the strongest foundation. And of course my dad and my family, the entire family. Um, two, I think I've mentioned Odak. Three, there is a guy called Okok. Apparently most of them are Luo. Eh? Okok, I met him when I was joining campus. So he's the guy who linked me to a lot of people. And he's the guy who will go to, I want, I have this idea. And then he sends you directly. Hakwambia will fikiria and see who to send you to. He will take phone call, call, and anituma. And a lovington, go meet this guy. You know, the next day naenda and anituma. Kuna conference na kuru. Naenda, three days, enda. So you go meet people. Kuna, kuna kitu in happen South Sudan, enda. Actually, my first flight was courtesy of Okok. Is something happening? I need you to go. Go interact with those people. So he, he really shaped, shaped me in terms of mentorship, networking, and all that. Then there is Mugubi um, at KU. Gave me a very good foundation to Kifanya Izo drama because he gave me the room to be creative when we were doing this drama festival. You know, to tell you, you know, panga, panga budget, fuata. You know, and then in Kisumu, and then in Nakuru. Like there's a time we went with a bus and a lorry to Eldoret with a club to perform. Shuglizetu batame to saidiame to facilitate. So he enabled us to, to function within the university. Uh, there, there are a lot of people. And then there is a support system of my colleagues, fellow students, um, whom we worked with. You, Biko, Akina Fedari. There are many Akina Ngobia, Akina Masese, Akina Nancy Aluoch Oluoch. They are support system. Ukifanya kitu wapigie, they are always there for you. You know, Akina Uticas, all of them. You know, all, my entire, I will say my entire class. And the people that are also behind us, Kidogo. There are people you call and they'll connect you direct. So the, the entire KU system. And then came, came in Akina Dr. Shkuku. People who are genuine in helping you. People who wana kusaidia bila, bila tashwishi. Nona ile, ile tu wana kupea through pass. Mm. Yani clean one. You know, the entire lecturers. I think tulikuwa, lecturers wetu walikuwa kuwa sana. And then there are these colleagues we met in masters. Akina Ndetei. Give, yes, Akina Father Charles. People who then give you another propeller to go to another level. You get all these people. I, I think, and why I'm, I am, as you said, I am 32 but have had an experience close to 64 is because I have had mentors who make things that look a challenging very easy because they give you a base. They give you a foundation to be able to do things that are not of your level in terms of advice, support system. Eh, pia wife yangu bana many support sana, 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 sana. You know, ile ya enye jutunalipa madeni kuna vitu tuna sacrifice kwa hao kuna vitu watu wezi fanya but ana understand na nafika ni time ya kit fest anasema ni sawa tu <laughs> isha fika tena <laughs> alikusaidia kulia hiyo time kwa kitu <laughs> eh unajua ya as in hiyo yes yes as in me um, i think in my life mm. the best thing i've had ni network the friends who have come in at the right time. 
people who have helped you like my current boss is, is a very good guy who who I went to with ideas accepted we worked and and then eventually um, when an opportunity came competitively I got I got the offer and he he gave me the offer competitively mm. um, and yes because uh, because he's called Mike Pundo he's the CEO of Kenya Cultural Center so I think this these are opportunities. These are people who have supported me, and there are very many. I cannot list them. I've just highlighted, but a few people who have been very instrumental. But I think success in Mekuaju are people who help you move to the next step. Mm -hmm. People who help you to. Because me, si jakuwa namtu ameni pull down. I will say, si jakuwa namtu ameni pull down. You have, you owe people money. They give you time. You negotiate with them. They are, they give you room to pay pole pole. You know, so that those deaths then don't have a bad impact. Najo kuna deni uneza kuwa nazo, zikwe ukwe branded con. By the way, CRB metolewa. CRB metolewa. So the festival is very safe this year. You get, yes, yes. Because we I think CRB ndi wa dimu wenye aja nisikia. So to say, so to say, but also Uhuru is a very good person. You see, as in system, unaona ni hile mungu wana create room for <laughs> mm. and then all this i think god has a way yes of of making this everything come together i think it is god unaona na maombi madheu niombea lakini god ni mso because all these things if you imagine the things i've done the debts i have ukizieka tu pamoja hivi jamaa anafaa kuwa committee saa zingine <laughs> <laughs> you get eh? yeah. but mungu anaku kuwakia anakupatia hiyo grace anakuwapea hiyo grace anakupea hiyo favor adha tukiongea na msee msee anakusikiza um anaku anakubali anakupea kitu ana come through hivyo hivyo and yeah. pia hmm. kuna opportunities mingi sana zenye nimepata through festival so i, I think pia hiyo ni kitu hiyo ni you need to keep going. I've gone to countries, I've, I've met people, I've gone to Akina, Sweden, Egypt, you know, I'm, I'm the Secretary General of the African Theatre Union. You know, this, these are all opportunities that have come from what I've done. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're able to sit and have conversations that drive theatre forward. Mm -hmm. You get um, a serious conversation about theatre cannot take place kama hauko. Ata kama hauko utakuwa consulted. So these are the benefits that come with it. CO2 has only a kulia na nini. <laughs> Iko na pia a very good sign. Sazingine pia, sazingine pia unacheka hey. kwa Range Rover. Yeah, ni ukweli. Mm. Unaitwa kuna mradi inafanyika, you called, you ask for guidance. Unaitwa kuna kitu inatengenezwa, curriculum is being developed, you called to to assist um, and you paid uh, something going on, you called, you paid, you get so Again, these challenges, peers, you come now opportunities. Because peer, ukifanya kitu for a very long time, unaonekana. Mm. Yeah. But as uh, I think we were having a conversation, I think the other day on a platform you are in. And this is something I've tried to, to ensure that the festival does not die when I die. I think we were having that conversation in a platform, um, Flatter. Mm. Um, because that is something I've, uh, I've also seen. That's why you find that currently I'm not the director. Because I want somebody else to take over while I'm still there to guide them. So that where, where, where they are not able to do, mm -hmm. I'm able to guide them until they are able to do without me. Because mm -hmm. I, I don't want Kit Fest to be Kevin. It might be the same, it might be the case right now, but I don't want that to, be, to happen. I don't want it to die when I die or when I lose Saikishe. No, and I want it to be an entity mm. on its own. Uh, and that is what we, we are trying to achieve. That's why I've step, step, stepped aside as the festival director so that somebody else can take it. And then after that, we see how it can be sustained. It can be sustained because it will be very bad. Yokuli ayote, then nikikufa, inakufa. Alamu weo, ukiamua amu ukiomoka, itaisha. Nikipata opportunity ya kuenda kufanya kazi Geneva, to influence policy on theater in the world. Mm. I don't want kid fest issue. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, and we pray and we pray that that happens. Um, mm. I think 
uh, I want to confess that um, you may know someone for very many years, but still there are depths that you never get to. Mm. Um, uh, we've, I think we've, we've worked together. Mm. We've uh, been friends all these years. But yeah, I've learned so much today, and mm. I think um, wish you well. In, you. Uh, in your endeavors mm. and in uh, the many good plans that you have with the Kenya Cultural Center. Mm. Um, yeah, and uh, just just on that, mm -hmm. as, as the Kenya Cultural Center, with the guidance of my boss, we are trying to do a lot mm -hmm. to ensure that some of the interventions that are needed come through. Uh, for example, we are, we are working with the Theatre Arts Practitioner Society of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And for next year, you will see them perform here a lot. So that we give opportunities for Kenyan Kenyan plays is something we are working on to to see for a very long time plays that have been performed in Kenya have been farces, uh, British farces adaptation of British plays. We are trying to see how we can we can motivate people to tell um, cultural stories. Like you see, every tribe has a story. Yes. You see, like your naming is 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 a, is a custom. Yes. in the Kikuyu. So there is a story about it that can be told. You know, we have stories of our legends, Mother, you know, Kipchoge, you know, um, the likes of Mother Karua, you know, the likes Madai. of Gare Madai. We have legends. Yet we, we watch these other stories. We watch Mandela, the musical, you know, mm. we, want, we want to see if we can, we can harness that so that we have a lot of Kenyan original plays like like they did with Luanda Magere and all that, so that mm -hmm. we have these stories documented in actual plays, and, and we are working towards that. So we are working to ensure that we build the scene and we, we see a few interventions. Already KCC is working on seeing how, how the policy, how the act can be improved, can be revised, because it is as old as 1952. Oh, yes, so how it can be done. Again, the boss is spearheading that so that, again, we get bigger mandate to influence a lot on the, on on the, the theater sector. On the theatre sector. So a lot is being done, especially the Kenya Cultural Center is on the forefront because I think we are the closest we come to theater, uh, having, having a government agency. And we want to ensure that it plays its role um, in, in reviving the scene. We're trying to talk to corporates. We're trying to, to see if we can get partnership with, with TV stations who can popularize our activities and all that. Step by step, we make a change. Great, and and I like the way this conversation has gone round. Mm. It started with you, with, with you saying serikali na faifanya, and now wewe ndiyo serikali. Now, wewe ukopande ya serikali, unasema sasa tunafanya. And mm. I think it's exciting mm. uh, that someone who has been so passionate about theater and someone who has even uh, shed tears because of the theater uh, gets an opportunity now to to try and make Absolutely. a change. So we mm. wish you well, and uh, we pray that you keep going up and up to to the uh, you know to influence how theater goes up mm. to even your prayer going to Geneva to the UN level now to influence how global theater looks like. Mm. Thank you very much, viewers, for joining us to in today's edition. Um, as usual. Uh, Throw us a comment, um, tell us how this interview has impacted you. Um, talk to us through our social media, um, Cinema Corner on Facebook, uh, Cinema Corner um, on um, Instagram. And um, let's keep having this conversation. You can um, reach us also through Snaps and Sounds in uh, Instagram. And let's, this, uh, let's keep this conversation going. Uh, on theater, film, and the whole entertainment industry. Thank you, God bless you, and bye-bye.